I promised on Monday, um, I teased it, old school podcasting, that uh, I was going to have the lovely Nia on, and she was going to talk about being a s- physically battered in Times Square. Battered. Well, as we've learned, assault is just the, the threat of violence. Battery is actually carrying out the act. Like, yeah, I know. That's a weird fucking thing. You know what I mean? I was fucking assaulted. I was attacked. You were okay. attacked, but you, you were battered. Okay. Yeah, because she made contact with me. She made contact. I thought she just pushed. Here's the deal. We, we, was, we was walking, minding our own business. We, were, we, were, uh, we got off the subway, and we were going uh, in Times Square, couple blocks up coming down from the upper west side there right and we got off on well, what is it 49th street or something like that 50th street and we were walking down to times square mm-hmm. and we had just i was like wow there's a lot look at all these fucking people here some um, times square was never this crowded so crowded yeah it was crazy crowded and somebody i was with was like no it's always been this crowded it's like no it wasn't when i first moved here this was all like porno shops and shady people and it was it wasn't like this. It wasn't an M M&M and M store and a bunch of people going to go see the fucking Lion King. I love how you keep like saying this as if like you weren't here when all that stuff happened. You were here when all that stuff started to change. You're acting like you're like the narrator from fucking Taxi Driver or something. Like oh, when it, you know this city is full of grit and grim. It's like you were here when it was like cleaned up and touristy. Why do you keep talking like you're Cuz it wasn't. Like you're looking back on it like you're some, you know, 70s fucking grizzled guy. <laughs> I'm not saying that. It wasn't. When we when we left here together, like when we left, I came here in 94. I know, but like all that stuff had already like changed when we left when we moved to LA. So it's not like you weren't here for the M&M store and all the things that have happened since then. That's what I'm saying. You keep. I don't understand like, what you're saying. When I came here, I know, but you're also like, but you're acting like you came here and wow, I'm I'm back now and it's so different. You were here when those all those changes. Yeah, were made. this city turned since we left turned yeah, into a giant. Years ago? Yeah, turned into a giant Bed Bath and Beyond. But I feel like it was like that when we left. No, am I crazy? You're crazy. Oh, okay. No, I guess it wasn't that crowded. It wasn't. I used to work in Times Square when I worked at MTV, and I. Don't remember it being that crazy. I remember working there when the Naked Cowboy was still around. Do you remember the Naked Cowboy? Yeah, but even that was part of a sillier time. I remember when I when I first came here, there was a Howard Johnson's in Times Square with a payphone that I sat on with a stack of fucking quarters or whatever the fuck it cost, calling people, cold calling people, like I was in Glengarry Glen Ross trying to find a place where I could I could I could have a room in an apartment. And they put me on holy app, ba da ba da. You know that's what it. And it was shady. Mm-hmm. So yeah. And when all of a sudden there was a, you know, let's see, ninety four, ninety five. I don't. When did the M M&M and M store come in? But it was somewhere they got Giuliani was just starting to clean it up. Mm-hmm. Tomskin Square Park was just all fucking junkies. I remember the M M&M and M store being there when I was when we were here. I do remember the M M&M and M store. Yeah. It just has always struck me funny that like. A, an afterthought candy would somehow get this spin off that became this huge hit. It is fucked that it's a whole store. I get the Hershey store, which is way smaller. What do you but- mean? M&M has always been in the game. They have those commercials, that one that comes on every Christmas. When Santa comes down, he's like, oh, they are real. Like, he is real. And then he faints, and then the yellow one goes, uh, Santa? This, you know what this is, Nia? This is the generation gap between you and me. Oh, I always forget that sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Because I'm so emotionally mature. Yeah, well, because you're so old, and I just forget. I forget you're a decade older than me. That's right. Mm. And I landed you. I know. You took the best years of my life. <laughs> oh, Billy Grizzled Nuts somehow ran you down, caught you sleeping at the fucking. Water and hole there in the Serengeti. Uh, I really screwed up, didn't I? I? Did I pulled you in the deep water? <laughs> so anyway, are we going to talk about my assault and battery? Wait, wait, assault and battery. How about that? 
I you got battered first, and then she assaulted you with her words. I mean, whatever the fuck it was. I don't, dude. I'm not a lawyer. God, All right, I get, I get so come on. like upset thinking about. I got it. one microphone, so All right, you got to so, come. So, so we're walking. So we're walking, so we're walking down walking there, to, wait, and I'm, I'm a- remembering my fucking New York, and you're like, "Oh, you were here when it fucking came here." Do you? This re- all you- used to be peep shows and homeless people pissing it in the did. garbage can. <laughs> You, there's an 80 year old person saying the same thing, and you give them shit. Well, you were here when the M and M store came. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> no, from the 80 year old person, I'd be like, yeah, sure. But I just feel like you're doing this like weird, like New York beat. But you were here longer before. No, this before, is you long before I just was. shitting on me for no fucking reason <laughs> at all. I'm literally telling you my fucking experience. <laughs> Why is your shirt open like five buttons at the top? What's going on right now? Because I was going to change into a T-shirt and then I said, oh, fuck, I got to do this podcast because like they're going to come to pick me up. Or a DJ or like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's a hot one out there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the tunes to cool you off. This is cool in the gang with uh, fucking stick your balls and some ice there. All right. <laughs> dumb mustache. All right. Um, dumb mustache is fucking paying for a... Bill, f- yeah, baby. it is, baby. All right. Mm-hmm. So why don't you give Starsky a little hutch over here every Ooh. once in a while? <laughs> um, Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we get off, and evidently I am waxing poetically, as you like to say, <laughs> about, I don't know what. I mean, I literally, I went to the fucking peep shows. I'm not going to say with the comedians. When we first came, we took the bus down. We got off at the Port Authority. It was, it was the dirtiest, fucking grossest okay, place fine, ever. But literally every single time you talk about Times Square, you're like, I remember when it used to be this, and now there's an M&M store. It's just like, we get Every it. time? You're old. Yeah. <laughs> yes, every time Times Square comes up, you're like, they got the M&M store down there. I mean, what is going on? <laughs> it's like every single time you say that. I just think it's a funny store. Okay. I guess I got to wait. I don't. Let's get back to the fact that yeah. they have their own fucking store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. OK, sure. I mean, I'm not trying to disrespect <laughs> them. I'm not trying to disrespect <laughs> them like they're on the level of Kit Kat, but they're not Hershey. Hershey was wow. like the greatest generation World War II. Are you saying that Kit Kat is like below, like one of the lower rung candies? Because I strongly object to that. Listen, who's kidding who? All right. <laughs> who is kidding who? All right. Like, how do I, if we were going to put it into like a band. Okay. All right. Who's going to be at the top, you're saying? Yeah, if you're going to say like a, uh, this, this band is a derivative of that band or they're a wannabe this band. Mm-hmm. Eminem's. They're like, they're this weird sort of like, uh, I don't know what kind of band they are. I don't want to shit on anybody. I can't believe you're about to try, you're trying to find a reason to trash Eminem. They're like the old school, like they are like the, the consistent, the consistent top. They are, but are they worthy of a, the, the store's like three floors high and you walk through Times Square and you always see somebody with those fucking yellow bags. It's like, what the fuck are you buying? You can get Eminem's at a fucking deli. But they also have. The merch, they have like the plushies of all the Eminem characters that are in the commercials. Don't ever say plushies again. Okay. They have merch. Okay. And then they have like shirts and then they have like Eminem, like cookies with Eminems in it and brownies with it. Like it's like everything having to do with Eminems that you could like. Yeah, they sold out. Okay. Well. Hershey's consistent. Hershey's just fucking the candy bar, the kisses. They got a nice modest fucking store in Times Square. Hershey just totally fucking sold out. M&M's, you mean? m and sorry, m and Are they not a part of the same company? We should probably do our research on that because they might be like the same company. I, I, first of all, don't do research. And isn't everything oh, right. owned by like three different fucking people? <clears throat> that fucking pedophile with his own goddamn island, he probably owns them, right? Yeah. Come on, Nia. You're not going to roll with me with the pedophile billionaire? No. With his own island? I hope he fucking gets killed. And burns in hell. So and then that's what? All that's all I got. And they put him out. That's it. They light him on fire again. That's right. That fucking jackass pretended to kill himself so he could get out of fucking jail. Exactly. I feel like he's going to get to hell and the devil's going to be like, oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. There's a worse place for you. Um, anyway, so get, getting back to Times Square and my story. So we're walking by the M&M M&M store and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh-huh. 
and we're just walking and I'm, I'm, you're walking with another buddy of mine and I'm a few back and I just see this woman, this black woman comes up and just fucking, I thought she just pushed you in the shoulder. Mm-hmm. And what I didn't realize is she did a half-ass hammer fist that, no, she, what she that hit the side do, of your neck. Yeah, what she went, what I think she was trying to do actually is that she was trying to hit me in the face. I think she had her palm open. Right. And she stuck it out. And I think because I turned my head to talk to our friend or the way that I was walking, she ended up getting me in the neck. But she was just going to hit me in the face and keep going, you know, or I, I mean, I don't know. I guess she thought I no, was she gone, wanted but. to fight you. So she hit. So she got me in the neck and I went, what the fuck? And I went, did you just hit me? And she goes, yeah, bitch. What bitch? What bitch? And just got all in my face. And at no, first, she I'm didn't. Thinking, what? She didn't get in your face. What do you mean? You don't remember the bald fucking jerk off in between the two of you? Before that happened, though, I was like, did you just hit me? Can I tell my fucking story? Like, why am I on here? To listen to you talk about how you, like, you know, don't like M&Ms? Or, or can I'm I the M&M story? candy that came to life and got in between you and that fucking lunatic. But at first, like, <laughs> she hit me and I went, did you just hit me? And she goes, yeah, bitch. But, and, I, and at first I'm thinking... Did I accidentally bump into her and now she's like upset? And like, and then it, this, that literally lasted two seconds. And then I got fucking heated and I started like cursing at her. Then, yes, then you were in between. And I don't even remember what I said to her. I was just like, fuck you, bitch. Let's go. Or whatever, the, whatever it was I said. Cause I did a quick scan of her and I was like, oh, she's like 98 pounds soaking wet. Like, I can, I can take her. This is, this is easy. She had like this blue wig on. She was skinny as a rail. I was like, I'm going to fucking beat this bitch up. And then you were in between us, and we're going back and forth and going back and forth. And then finally, I'm like, I'm not actually going to fight this girl. Like, am I really going to get into a physical fight in Times Square and, like, broad-ass daylight and fight? Like, I'm not going to fight this girl. I'm a mother. Like, I, I, had to, I had to come back to myself and remember who I am. And you were screaming at her. Until I don't remember that her. part. I remember, this is how I remember I'm it. I'm talking about what's going on inside of me <laughs> internally, okay? She fucking, I was like, what the fuck? And then she turned around, yeah. and I was like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. So I got in between the two of you, mm-hmm. and at first you were like, what the fuck? And she's like, what, blah, 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 blah. And then I felt you get mad, and I was like, oh, no. And I could feel you coming back, and in my head, I'm thinking, Nia, leave. Mm-hmm. Leave. And then the two of you. I was like the security on a fucking reality show. And she kept starting to walk away. And then you'd say something. And then she'd come back doing like the mock charge, like the fucking elephant. She's like, I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to kick your ass. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, let's go. Come on, bitch. What about it? I just, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. I was, I was, I was, yes. I was out of myself. I was, yes. I was on an episode of the Real Housewives me, of Times Square. She got me. I was so fucking mad. I was like, how the, how fucking dare you? How dare you? And I just got so mad. I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip this bitch's face off. Right. And all I'm thinking is, is this is a woman and I can't hit her. And she keeps coming up. And that was, that was the hardest part was when she would do the mock charge because she's so nuts. She didn't even fucking really see me. You know what I mean? You know, mm-hmm. she's so fucking dialed in on you. I had to put my hands up. It's like I can't hit her in the face. There are her titties. She fucking weighed no fucking nothing. What could I, you know? What am I supposed to do? Find that fucking abdomen and in, in, in her fucking left shoulder? So I, I don't know. You should have. You should have. I, I, I wish. I got to be honest with you. I kind of wish. I was so mad. I wanted to fucking rip. I just wanted to tear her limb from me. I know. I kind of wish one so time pissed. when I pushed her back, I accidentally mushed her in the face. But Nia, yeah. you have to understand that that's, you know. Because I don't know if you've noticed, there was a bunch of fucking people there just watch. It just beats entertainment. They don't yeah, care. Yeah, and I, I remember there was, like, kids walking around and stuff. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I can't get into a fight with this girl in Times Square. And there's kids and families and tourists around. And, you know, as soon if we actually had made contact, her and I, people would have brought out their phones. And it would have been a whole fucking thing. No, that was not going to happen. I was not going to allow that. I was not going to lie. I just had to be in between oh, the two of you, so hoping she sad. was continuing to mock. And then I finally realized that she wasn't going to leave. So then I just barked at her like a dog. Yeah, you were like, leave, bitch. What did you say? <laughs> and you kept going, fuck you, fuck you. And she yeah, going, yeah, yeah, yeah. My usual. Going, your mother, your mother, your mother to you. Your mother, your mother. That's No, she you. never talked to me. 
She was dialed. She didn't even see me. She was fucking crazy. And then she said when she walked away, that's why your mother died, bitch. And I was you like, know, okay. She's going, your mother, your mother, that's why your mother's dead. And I was like, oh, she's fucking crazy. Oh, she's just nuts. Yeah. Like, she's like on drugs or something. And then that was, that was the end of it. That's and- the Times Square that I remember. <laughs> I was actually feeling nostalgic in the middle of all of that. Well, you, you know, I hope the Photoshop guy has you with an M&M bag <laughs> and me dressed like taxi driver getting in between on a reality show. There's a lot to work with this week. Yeah, I, that was... Um, I'm going to tell you this. I'm very happy that you, that you didn't fight her. And I am very happy that, that the whole thing went away. But there is a part of me... That wishes I picked her up and body slammed her into the trash. Uh, same. If you hadn't, for whatever reason, gotten in between us, we would have actually fought. Because it was when you got between us and you were barking at I was like, what am I doing? Stop. And Nia has gotten physical with me <laughs> numerous times this relationship. And I could tell you without a doubt, unless that woman had a box cutter, she would have lost. That would have been... I know you had your braids, right? That I don't know. She might if she grabbed you there. That's the equalizer here, in a chick that fight. That would have been hard, but I still would have found. I would have. I would still. I would think would have like rammed her like a bull. Even if she's grabbing my, I would think that I would just run towards her and she would. Uh, you fight over. dirty, Nia. You go I dirty. Do, oh, I fight so dirty. Uh, so I would have been no like, rules. You, you're, you're like blood sport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally at one point in our relationship said, Nia, if you hit me again <laughs> in an argument, I'm breaking up with you. Do you remember that? I do remember that. And you never did it again, although one time you threw my laundry at me. <laughs> this big anticlimactic because it was a bunch of socks, and you went to throw them at me, and I was too far away, and they got three quarters of the way, and then they just sort of... do 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 Because you used all that fabric softener. I don't remember that. I do. We were in the living room of that fucking apartment we had. Your fabric softener. Huh? I don't even know what that means. Well, anyway... But our, 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 friend, our friend was saying to me, he was like, look at you, to me, because I went after her. I was like, yeah, well, I, I, I can't actually get into a physical fight with somebody. That's ridiculous. But my adrenaline was going, and I was ready to fight. And then... Oh, this is the greatest part. And then, oh, my God, we're leaving where we were leaving. Yeah, we were going, went to the, go, it was the night I was going down to open for Chappelle yeah. and the power outage happened. Right. So now we're all walking, we're walking through fucking Times Square mm-hmm. as everybody's getting let out of these shows on the half of Broadway that didn't, uh, that wasn't lit up. And we're walking through and they had to be, in a, you know, felt like a million people in Times Square. And who the fuck did we see again? It's that crazy the crazy blue haired lady. It's the crazy bitch. And I was like, what the fuck is that? This now I actually got a little scared because I'm like, is she stalking me? Is she waiting for me? Like, what is really going on? But she was walking through the crowd. She was walking in the opposite direction. She didn't even remember it, Nia. I uh, guarantee you, so she didn't even remember it. That if I walked up to her and said, "Hey, which way is the subway?" she would she would have no recollection. She was she was completely out of it. And you know, my kinder side wants to be like, you know, who knows she if she's living on the street, if she's on drugs, who knows what's happened to her? But you know, if you come for me physically, like I have no sympathy for you, and I'm I'm going to try to rip your head off. So that that's started that. like great pay per view trash talk. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Because you started because if you come for me, I'm like oh, this is going to be epic. If you come for me, then you know I'm not going <laughs> to tolerate that, and I'm going to. Hey, man, that's just like your opinion, man. (laughs) (laughs) That's just like your opinion, man. Um, Yeah, well, that was that. So I've never, in all the years that I lived here, I had never once gotten, you know, physically assaulted or attacked or touched or anything like that. That was the first time it ever happened. And it was in Times Square, like of all places, with a million people around. But she was nuts. And, yeah, she just saw me and just was... Just went after me. It's just so funny that you say in Times Square of all places because the Times Square oh, that I remember. 